Hey everybody, it's Kazla. We're back talking a little bit about Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Um, we're not going to be talking about the story today, nothing spoilery. Uh, more than anything, I want to talk about Red Mage in Endwalker and how it feels really great. Uh, we're going to talk about a few of the changes real quick. The, uh, the most noticeable is going to be the change to um, acceleration. Um, of course, somebody's walking by. Uh, but acceleration no longer gives you three casts that will proc uh, Verse Stone and Verse Fire. And instead, uh, it's kind of like a pseudo swift cast. Um, so it only works for one spell. It swift casts that spell. Um, and for Ver Arrow, Ver Thunder, and Impact. Um, it does bonus damage as well as uh, Ver Arrow and Ver Thunder triggering triggering your Ver Stone and Ver Fire. So, uh, so if you see that's instant cast and you're instantly into Ver Fire um, and stuff like that. Now the next change is the change to Manification. Um, originally, if I used it right now, uh, I would have gone to uh, 12 white, 22 black, uh, and not been able to do anything with it. Uh, now, Magnification is like an instant combo button, at least for single target combo. So it gives you 50 of each, um, and then you can go in, use your combo, uh, and more than anything, you don't have to actually use your combo correctly. Like, here I did one, two, and then I'm gonna do two again, and it still triggers it, um, which can be useful. I, I mean, it actually means that you can go 45-45 if you really want to go into combo. Um, but then, uh, other than that, there's not much different. Of course, our big addition at uh, level 90 is this new finisher, uh, which is actually an AoE straightforward. Um, now, the other change they did make was to uh, embolden. I'm not going to really show it off, but uh, effectively embolden now uh, just as a flat damage bonus to everybody. Um... Let me see if it's still magic only for, yeah, magic only for for the red mage, uh, which means, if I remember, Fletche, these are physicals, if I remember right, so they actually don't benefit from manification, but pretty much everything else does. Um, the other big change, and this is what I, I didn't know I needed it until it happened, was the change to Red Mage's AoE rotation. Um, so now, like I said, you can use Acceleration to Swift Cast uh, an Impact uh, with Enhanced Damage. Uh, so usually on pulls, that's really nice as I'm getting into position. Uh, and then the other thing, something that was needed for a while, uh, if I can get up to my mana here, um, or wait six seconds, um, let me go ahead and pop Magnification, is allowing Molinette to trigger the combo as well. Uh, so we do three of these, and now we've got Verflare and Verholy from where our AoE spells were, and they changed Verflare and Verholy to be AoE as well. Uh, so you can burn down packs a little bit better, and then of course we got that level 90 spell uh, that goes forward. One other thing they added was Magic Barrier. This this creates a 10% uh, reduction against magic damage for you and your party, um, as well as incre increasing uh, healing spells by 5%. Uh, this I found this incredibly useful for like stack mechanics and dungeons. Um, some of the trials have some, what I'm going to call an Ockmorn. Uh, it's a stack, party stack, where it's multiple hits on you, uh, which they added a new marker for. Uh, in Endwalker, which has been really nice to be able to see when that's going to happen. Uh, but this kind of really negates a lot of that damage that you're usually taking uh, and just really, really helps out the healers. And last but not least, if you notice, I don't have displacement on my bar. Uh, instead, I've got, a, I've got engagement on, and I never took engagement off for the entirety of playing through uh, Endwalker. Um, the ability to proc it whenever I need to, not really having to worry about backflipping or anything like that, um, was really helpful. Um, of course, I was always in melee range, which is 
could be a little bit more troublesome, uh, but it's easy enough with the way Red Mage double casts, uh, as well as having Swift Cast and Acceleration for spells uh, to really give you mobility and get out of there when you need to. Um, so more than anything, it was allowing me to use it whenever it was up, so it was just bonus damage. But I've done a little bit of playing through um, some of the extremes that are out now. The rates don't drop until um, until a little over, well, actually a week from this video. Um, and so I haven't got too much experience with raids, but the way this felt playing all through Endwalker was just perfect. If, if you... If you loved Red Mage before, you're going to love it even more now. Um, and if you haven't played Red Mage or you thought it was a little bit slow to begin with, um, this really speeds up Red Mage. I, I feel like I'm in combo a lot. And with Manification, I I usually get to like sometimes 80, 80 mana when like I'm holding at the end of a pull. And then I go into the boss and I basically get three combos in a row to open up, uh, which is just insane. Uh, but Red Mage is looking great. Uh, I still need to glam. I've been working on getting this gear. Um, haven't really got a chance to glam it uh, with a new Endwalker glam. Uh, but like I said, Red Mage is feeling great. I hope you guys check it out. Um, I'm going to have some more videos going up here in the next few uh, few weeks. Uh, talking a little bit about what I predicted from the story that I got completely wrong and what I got right. Um, my overall feelings through the story as I talk through that one as well. That's gonna, that's probably gonna be near the end of the month because I don't want to spoil anybody. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about some of the new quality life features uh, or just new gameplay additions to the game uh, in the next video. Uh, so be sure to click that subscribe button. You'll get to see all those videos when they go up. Uh, otherwise, be sure to uh, check the description below for my social media and my Twitch channel where I sometimes stream. Um, and otherwise, uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.